Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another grounded video. In this video, it's not going to be much of a tutorial. It's going to be more of me exploring and discovering a lot of cool things on the berry bush. And I'm sure if you pay attention, you'll be able to discover a lot of things that you can go do in your own game. But the intended purpose is to show you guys how much detail is put into a single part of the game. There's a lot of things in this bush. There are also several routes up into this bush. I chose one where I went up and there's a station right there. I got some granola bars, got a chip for burgle, and I continued exploring more. Just from exploring this bush for an hour, I was able to find five different chips. Three of them were obtainable, but the other two were not. They're like in an area that you couldn't get into, and probably for when the game gets released a little further. I was also able to find around 500 to 1,000 raw signs, and I know for sure I didn't explore the entirety of this bush. So if you guys want to head over here to the bottom right corner of the map, and I believe I showed it at the beginning. Now if you are planning to explore this bush, make sure you come prepared. There are a lot of spiders and spiderlings, so I would advise bringing something like a mint mallet or an ant club. Also to be on the safer side, bring a dandelion so that if you fall, you can just glide down. I used it several times in this to get from branch to branch, so it's actually really helpful. Another thing you might want to consider if you come up here is bring a bow with a bunch of arrows. Every blueberry you see, you just want to shoot it down. And then when you're done with this, go to the ground. You'll see a bunch of the blueberries all over the place. You can gather them um, for the berry leather. And then you just pick up the arrows because the arrows will go down with the blueberry when it hits the ground. The next thing I found in the bush was a flying disc or a frisbee and there were a bunch of spiders on it so it was pretty hard to get across but it was actually really cool seeing this because i know when i was younger i would definitely do things like this throw a frisbee you get stuck in a bush in order to get past this i just had to wait for the perfect time where the spiders weren't aggroed on me and they were just walking the other direction and i just waited and waited until i found my opportunity and ended up running for it and was completely fine like can we talk about how scary the spiders are in this game i mean look at that thing it's menacing as hell I don't think I've ever had a game where I've been more afraid of something than a wolf spider in this game. And these those, those things just freak me out. They come out of nowhere and just one shot you and it's pretty creepy. So once I got past that, I just went under the frisbee and there was two ants just chilling. But there is a raw science orb or whatever you want to call it. And you can just go down and grab it, get some more raw science. Uh, at this point, I was really excited to see this, and I was like, I'm going to go explore it. And this little booger just pushed me off, <laughs> I nearly died. Uh, I was able to get out of it, but I thought that was pretty funny. Now, in this laboratory, there's actually a lot of cool things. You're not able to get in completely. There is a breach where you're supposed to be able to explore it through it, but you can't do it. I think it's just not in the game yet. Maybe I haven't discovered something, uh, or like a different side quest or whatever. But as far as I know, you can't get in. There are a lot of little spiders you can find in here that aren't, they're orb weaving spiders, but they're smaller and a lot easier to kill. Now they crawl all throughout this lab and it's really creepy, but uh, you guys will see it as we go further. Now we're just going to glide on in here and I'm just going to show on the map real quick. This is where the lab is. You can, there are some uh, chips inside this lab, but you can't grab them. I just tried to whack the security camera and shoot it to see if it would open the door somehow, but it didn't. So I wasn't able to go further in, but if you go above it, you can look inside and there is an analyzing station. There are a couple chips you can see and I really wanted to try to glitch my way in, but I couldn't do that. So it sucks. Well, this is one of the chips that I was talking about and one of the little spiders guarding it. So if you look at the table right there, there is a chip just glowing and I wanted to see if I can like pick it up through the wall, but I couldn't. Ended up coming back a day later with a mint mallet, just trying to get some spider parts and stuff like that so I can build a contraption, which you guys will probably see in another video. But um, I was killing the orb weave spiders and I found something different, another lab in the tree right next to the lab it was before. And it had another chip, which I thought was pretty cool. So here's a lab, it's just tucked back a little bit so it's harder to see, but you're actually able to get inside and you have this weird contraption inside which I'm not sure what it is but it looks like it was part of the 
whole experiment he did at the beginning with the lasers and stuff. But if you look closer inside the lab, you can actually find a chip next to the computer. You can pick it up and it has a little bit of lore. It says like strange note one. Um, if you want to pause the video when I pick it up and read it completely, you go at it. And it's really interesting. I want to figure out what it means and if I can find the whiteboards it talks about inside uh, the note. So I will look into that the lore part. Probably will do a lore video eventually. But I don't really, I don't have enough clues, I don't think so. But that really ends my whole exploration of the berry bush. I will probably do some more and see if I can find other stuff out. But that's really all I did during this time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little different of a video. It wasn't a tutorial, but it wasn't just me playing. So it was a little mix and I thought it was sort of fun. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.